So I want to talk to you tonight about um, where we are in the business. I want to talk to you first about how I got here because it's a little unusual. Um, I didn't start off with a, I didn't really know what the public relations business was when I started out. Um, I was a kid um, in South Texas. I grew up in Texas. People that know me know I don't like to talk a lot about myself. It's kind of the way I was brought up. It's the way I've raised my children. Um, I've run companies that way. But I think it's important for me to say a little bit about that tonight because all of you, many of you are starting out and I want you to have a sense, I think, of just exactly what's possible. Because if I could do this, then anybody could. Um, I, uh, you, I grew up two hours or so from the Mexican border in South Texas. In my youth, we used to say that was a six pack away from the Mexican border, but age and open container laws now cause me, advanced age now would cause me to simply say it's just not very far from Mexico. <laughs> um, I grew up in a world of farmers and ranchers and in a very rural part of the state. Uh, on my father's side, my family were all immigrants from Scotland. They were farmers. Uh, my mother's side came to Texas in the 1800s uh, from um, Tennessee. Most a lot of people in Texas came from Tennessee. Um, they were part of a group that stole the state from the Mexicans. <laughs> and uh, that's a proud heritage we now have of five generations of having taken the state away from the country to the south. Um, we still act like at times it's an independent nation. Um, it's not. We're very proud to be associated with the United States, contrary to what you may have heard in recent years from our governor. Um, my father really was the first person who broke the mold in our family of farmers and ranchers, and he was a firefighter. Thirty years he was a firefighter and he was a fire chief, uh, a member of a labor union. Um, really uh, proud of that. So I grew up in a union household. Um, I'm still very proud of that. I, um, it's a way though to tell you how really unlikely it is that I would end up where I am today. Um, uh, if my dad's ambition for me was to be a large animal veterinarian um, and uh, I didn't quite make it. Uh, I grew up in a atmosphere. If I had boots before I had shoes, we don't call them cowboy boots, we call them boots. Uh, I learned to ride a horse before I could walk, and my sport growing up was horse shows and rodeo. And, um, and I mastered the art uh, growing up in South Texas of um, keeping from getting killed, really, I guess, was the first challenge uh, with those kinds of activities and sport. But how I got here really is where the story begins now. I know that in the PR business, a lot of people now talk about storytelling. I was at a conference the other day and a guy got up and said they had a storytelling division in their PR firm. Um, I still don't know what that means, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the story, so maybe that'll help. <laughs> Storytelling starts with me where in my hometown of San Antonio in 1968, we had the World's Fair. And it was called Hemisphere, and we had a large tower they built called the Tower of Americas. And it was the tallest structure from the Mexican border to Dallas. And as kids, we all went up on top of the tower. And it really left a profound impact on me because first of all, I'd never been that high before. Um, it's very flat in South Texas, and so it wasn't like we were on top of a mountain looking down. But that really opened my eyes for something about that impacted me because I vividly remember that 600-foot tower over South Texas. And I had an incredible curiosity about where all those cars were going below me or the planes I could see from the airport. And it really began... Uh, a curiosity that I have to this day about people and where they're going on journeys they've never been on before that as you'll hear definitely includes me. 
Uh, I uh, took my first airplane flight that during that time at the age of 19 to the oil patch to go get a summer internship at a council of governments as the PR director. Uh, now they didn't know what a PR director was and I didn't know what a PR director was so it was a perfect match. Uh, expectations were low and I began to realize it had something to do in those days with the press. Our territory went from Lubbock, Texas to the big to the Rio Grande River and the biggest city in the whole 17 counties was a population of 100,000. So the PR director, as an intern at this Council of Governments, I had about 10 weekly newspapers and two dailies. And we didn't talk to one of the dailies because they wrote a bunch of negative articles about the group before I got there and they decided that, that wasn't going to be part of our PR strategy. I learned a real lesson there because it only got worse. Um, then I started off in politics and I went to work for a man that became my lifelong mentor named Lloyd Benson who was the United States Senator from Texas. And so another part of my story is that I have a background in politics. I started at the age of 19 in politics. I'm really in sort of an enviable position here tonight because I, this, this next year will be this is the 21st year since I founded Public Strategies, and if you count my political days, this is now my 40th year. So what you're going to hear tonight is uh, pretty much free of any concern about what I might say. Uh, I'm really sort of past the point of being on the make, and so I've got some things I want to say.